It feels good when we put plastic in a blue bin, right? This gives us a sense of accomplishment when we throw garbage in a bin. What do you think this will help in making the oceans and land clean from plastic, right? Wrong. No matter how well you discard your plastic, most of them end up in a trash of heap. You know why? Because these plastic wastes are composed of several layers of different kinds of plastics and each plastic has to be recycled separately. For example, if we take a detergent jug, its body is made up of polyethylene and its cap is made up of polypropylene. If we melt those down and try to make a bottle out of that, it would not be the durable bottle. It will crack down on squeezing. Most plastics are like oil and water. They just don't mix and so make it too difficult to recycle them. Recycling plastic is a big issue because we can find plastic waste everywhere from the top of Mount Everest to the bottom of Mariana Trench. Then what do you think? What is the solution to this problem? Maybe we can switch this plastic to some biodegradable plastic material like cellulose? No, I don't think so. Plastics made from them are not as strong and cheap as conventional plastics. Here in this video, we have brought for you a latest research and discovery in the field of recycling plastic with highest efficiency. Number 1. Solvent Wash Method This process uses a series of different liquid solvents to dissolve individual plastic components of a product. Using the solubility of different kinds of plastic in different solvents, Herber and his colleagues has designed this strategy. Here the idea is to choose the right solvent to dissolve only one kind of a plastic at a time. They tested this technique on a packaging film that contains polyethylene, PET as well as some amount of ethylene vinyl alcohol that keeps food fresh. They stirred the film into a toluene solvent first which dissolved the polyethylene layer. Now one component is dissolved which they have separated from the mixture. The remaining two, the PET and ethylene vinyl alcohol, which they dissolve in a solvent called dimethyl sulfoxide (TMSO), which dissolved the ethylene vinyl alcohol. The remaining PET film was then recovered. So by this method, they were able to successfully separate different kind of plastics, which is almost impossible to separate by any other technique. What a simple and innovative idea. That's why I love science. Moving on to the next method. Second method using mutated bacteria. Before talking about this method, let's understand what is mutated bacteria. A mutation is any change in a DNA sequence in bacteria that can be induced artificially in lab. By inducing mutation in bacteria, scientists can change the function and the characteristics of bacteria. Researchers have reported that they have engineered an enzymes that can convert 90% of that same plastic back into original starting material. The scientists have chosen this enzyme after screening 100,000 microorganism enzymes. They introduce some form of mutation in them to improve its ability to break down the PET plastic from which drinking bottles are made. They also design them in such a way so that they can remain stable even at 72 degrees Celsius, which is perfect temperature for fast degradation. The team of scientists observed that they can break tons of plastic waste into 90% efficiency in just 10 hours. The best part is the cost of the enzyme was just 4% of the cost of virgin plastic made from oil. This technique can give a massive boost to plastic recycling because PET, polyethylene tetrathalate is one of the world's most commonly used plastic with around 70 million tons produced annually. 
all the current approaches for recycling this plastic end up with lots of problems. One such problem is the plastic which they get after recycling is a broad mixed color plastic which very few companies wants to use to pack their product. Now with the help of these mutated bacteria, we can convert 90% of that plastic back into its original starting form. Spread this information with your science loving friends. Keep supporting your channel Beacon Bin Science. Do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.